in a study on recurrent exercise-induced rhabdomyolysis, Hanish Mani and colleagues suggested strategies for prevention of recurrent episodes in predisposed individuals. As physical therapists, we can use these during our patient education. Regardless of the cause, you want to instruct your patient to avoid triggers, make sure that they're staying hydrated, and that they're warming up before exercise. If the cause is known and fatty acid beta oxidation is involved, you want to suggest possibly seeing a dietitian to look at a low fat diet and replacement of essential fatty acids with things like walnuts or soy oil. If vitamin D deficiency is the cause, you wanna to talk to your patient about monitoring and normalizing their levels of vitamin D. Schleich also looked at a phase reintegration program that's safe and effective for returning to play with patients who have experienced exertional rhabdomyolysis. First phase includes returning to activities of daily living within the first two weeks. Screening for symptoms consistent with rhabdo, which includes sleeping patterns, hydration, and urine color. Phase two continues to monitor these things as well as muscle soreness, swelling, and then you're gonna start physical therapy activities. These activities include foam rolling, dynamic warm-ups, and stretching. Phase three, you continue to monitor what we previously said, as well as progress physical therapy to body weight resistance movements, resistance training with elastic bands, core training, stationary bicycling, and continuing to stretch. Phase four, you're still gonna monitor, and you're also gonna initiate resistance training at a one rep max with 25 to 20 percent of that one rep max. Um, each athlete will return to play varying on their severity of rhabdomyolysis. Also is going to depend on their previous fitness level as well as training experience.